I remember the first couple times I started dressing up really weird as a kid and just like pushing boundaries with it and how powerful it made me and my friends feel. We were just like these really kind of nerdy seventh grade kids and there was just like really like rambunctious hallway scenes and stuff so you always had to kind of like hold your own in the hallway and we started dressing up really weird together and I just remember us like walking in like a little trifecta in the hallway all just like weird like socks on our arms like little fishnets and tutus over jeans and stuff and and like feeling so powerful in that moment and like everyone just being like, what the hell are they doing? And like mad about it almost, like pissing people off just by being like fun and weird and like doing something that wasn't expected. And that, I was like, there's something to this. Like, and I, I, I've just been like fascinated with that kind of dynamic ever since. So I'm Witch Doctor. It's kind of a name I got out of, I took out of a situation where I was feeling very oppressed and very much like having to not be myself. And every time I showed my true colors, um, people would kind of just put me down. And I didn't even realize people were calling me this behind my back. So I work at a really corporate place and I would come in every morning like, smoothie been really excited talking about natural healing and just about like expressing yourself and being who you want to be and it's just like what i believe in and people started calling me witch doctor behind my back so when i finally found that out i was like that's amazing thank you i'm gonna take that as a compliment and it kind of embodies the way i've learned to take things throughout life which is when people are using things to kind of oppress you if you can turn it around and make it into something empowering and make it part of your own story it's just like a powerful way to deal with things and that's kind of what I've done with just my clothing in general. I like to use a lot of bright colors and just like reflective material. I like to think about like how light bounces off things and like just emphasizing the female form and like embracing it versus hiding it or shaming it. So I do a lot of stuff that's like, you know, embracing the belly button or just, like the little boob portal shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I was always really creative, went through a lot of dramatic stuff in my home life as a child and found a lot of solace in making things and eventually moving into fashion and being able to like create this shield around me and it kind of I could look down and it would be my own reality at least that I could control. I couldn't control the reality around me, but I could control like my little reality right here. And at that age when school sucks, kid, all the kids suck, your parents suck, just everything sucks, like to be able to control something and, and it bring you inspiration and joy was just like definitely necessary and life-saving. So I think a lot of me being able to make my own clothes came out of me being uncomfortable with my body growing up. I like have like a very interesting body type. I'm really small chested and more voluptuous below. And um, I just didn't feel like I fit in with this like stereotypical image of what I've been shown was beautiful forever like at four years old I looked at the TV and I was like I remember like looking down at my stomach and, and like pressing on it and being like if I just don't eat anymore I could I could be like those girls on TV <laughs> and it's just and it's funny how like we we put all these images up of like these beautiful like one sense of beauty 
being happy and, and being honored and being powerful in this like very trite, shallow sense. And you, you fall for it when you're a little kid. It's like, I have always had this like real dissonance and just felt really uh, conflicted when people tell me it's not okay to show my body when it's like, that is really you deep down or underneath like what you wear every day. And so with my line, I've really tried to just combat that notion that if someone's showing their body, it's sexual or deviant or something like that. And that it can be like a beautiful, empowering thing too, so. I did a lot of fashion shows in high school, kind of always did it as a hobby, was scared to move into it at first because I just didn't have that expectation in the home that being a professional artist or designer or anything like that was a viable job, you know, so um, fell into the corporate thing for a while and I had sat, like, not in the same desk, but in the same office for two years, seven months, and eight days. And it was, like, a really long time. And it was, like, good to have that stability for a while. But to be able to, like, let go and not be associated and, like, contracted to that 40-hour work week, I, I could, I, I, I can't describe how liberating it is like people don't understand like I can't believe people work that their entire lives at a job they don't like and we just are expected to do that and like that's just like what are we are we kind of we're messaged to do as children too it's like you're probably gonna have a job you don't like and work there your whole life so be happy right now while you're a kid you know it's like that was the expectation and I don't think that's a healthy way to live I think we we, sh we should expect more out of our lives. And even if it is just we do have to do something to get by, like there's other ways to find peace besides that, so. You know, I started dating this guy, but it came out that like some of his friends thought I was dressing a certain way because I like, wanted attention from males and then that was like what my brand was about and it's like that's op the opposite of what I'm trying to do here. to participate in the fashion show 30 seconds before we were supposed to go down there they came up here and told us that the work was too risque and they wouldn't let like anyone with the like um, bar or the pasties go out so I'm just not doing it because that's ridiculous and they saw my work like I submitted my Instagram which is basically all this stuff so it's kind of really rude that they like didn't think I was going to show like what obviously says is my new line so What I really want is people to just accept the human body and not be scared of it and not shame it and have to like put it behind some kind of like unless someone wants to like I think it should just be someone's personal choice and and like in cultures where we dictate what a woman has to wear it's like it's a correlation that they have less power you know so it's just I, I and I don't think I think it's in that same line of thinking that when a man says, oh, well, a woman wanted to get raped because she was dressed a certain way. Like this even thinking like, oh yeah, a woman wants to be treated a certain way, hit on a certain way, talk to a certain way because she's dressed 
it's a certain way. That's the same line of thinking, just to a different degree, you know? So I, I really think that people need to reevaluate judging a woman in, like, her sexual, um, like, what? A promiscuity on like how much she reveals because I don't think that it's correlated at all especially in like Austin Texas <laughs> I'm sorry it's like hot as fuck outside so oh no I feel like so much more empowered in my own self and my identity to have taken that away from the male gaze and to be like, no, that's mine. I don't freaking care. Okay, uh, once in a while, people are gonna like, yell at me or whatever, but if, as long as I'm like resilient and I don't really care about that and I have my own like vision and direction, that's not gonna matter, you know? Well, I went through doing a couple, a series of showing my work and after going through and having like my stuff at different fashion shows just, just be kind of on this spectrum that wasn't really of interest to the audience there here in Austin or uh, even being like kicked out of a fashion show that like just, it's kind of an indication to me that I want to go more to a scene where, um, I don't know, they're, the, they're comfortable with pushing the boundaries I want to push. And I don't think that's going to be here in Texas. Y'all say hi to the witch doctor, y'all. Hey, what's up, Austin? Happy Halloween! Woo! All right, so I'm really excited to be here. Uh, we're going to start off with the fashion show and move into the video. So yeah, I'm really excited to be moving to New York in a couple weeks, and it's it's a big anticipated change for me. I feel like I've been boxing up every little segment of my life and kind of deciding what I want to take of my life, my identity, my actual things to New York and what I want to leave. So it's been like a cool therapeutic process, definitely a growth process. <laughs> I feel like I would have been such a terrible person if I didn't learn how to make things when I was younger and like just get this this energy out of me in like a beautiful sense like some of the most deepest pain and hurt and fear that you can have inside yourself that I think some people just carry their entire life just like boiling within their system and for me, art has been a way to, to get that out in a beautiful way. And other people look at it and you tell them what it's about and they're like, holy fuck, like I felt that way too. And it becomes this way to like really connect with people on a deeper level. We just like, you can waste your whole life worrying what everyone else is thinking about. And, and trying to make everyone else happy. And you'll wake up one day and you'll just realize I've never been happy my whole life and I don't know who I am. Yo, give it a wish, doctor. <laughs> Yo, give it up for Solstice Presents. Coming this shit. Helping expose all the amazing talent we have here in Austin. Don't give it up for all the models. You have these dreams of who you want to be, hopefully, like, and and people tell you that's not that's not right. You probably shouldn't do that. That's a bad idea. And you spend your life deciding if you're going to follow them or not, or or writing that line, or or trying to figure out what you're going to do. So I'm just. <laughs> 
I'm happy I'm finally having the confidence in myself to try to do what I actually want to do in life. And I, I really like encourage people to, to give yourself that love and that freedom to do that because you, we only live once and there's so many people, like all the mean old people are people that are looking back at their lives and mad that they didn't do something, you know? So I, I encourage everyone to just like, just do it, just try it out. <laughs>